This, uh, this song is back to 1998, the, the Good Friday Agreement. And uh, we didn't know it was going to be called the Good Friday Agreement because uh, the week, it was the week before Easter when talks began. And there were all these uh, rumours that it was breaking down, uh, the uh, talks were breaking down. People were very nervous and worried. It was very traumatic. They, they were worried that the, the killings would begin again. And uh, the television news was interviewing everyone who disagreed with the talks. Because TV can't deal with peace very well. If you put a calm sea in a blue sky on a television screen and hold that shot for more than five seconds, people will be getting a remote control and <laughs> searching for storms. Because that's the nature of television, it's moving pictures. It has to move. And when the man <coughs> says, here is the news, it's carefully selected pieces that attract the eye of the viewer and the purse of the advertiser. And all the great things that we know that happen all the time will never make the news. So we decided to create a storm for the six o'clock news. <laughs> And uh, we, uh, we gathered up musicians from both sides and uh, children from both schools because everybody wanted the peace talks to continue. And uh, also a cello player called Veteran Smilovich that I played with here in 1999, I think it was. Beth, she was, remind me. And uh, Carrie and John would remember that very well too. And uh, Smilovich was a cellist in symphony orchestra in Sarajevo. And uh, during the war, the theater got destroyed. And he believed that music was the opposite to despair. And he put on his dress suit and bow tie and went out onto the street on his own with the cello and played the Albanoni Adagio for the 22 people who had been killed in a bread line, they were friends of his. And during this time, TV, a uh, cameraman ran out and said, Mr. Smilovich, are you not crazy for playing your cello while they're shelling Sarajevo? And Smilovich looked at him and says, you ask me if I'm crazy for playing my cello while they shell Sarajevo? Why did you ask them, are they not crazy for shelling Sarajevo while I play my cello? <laughs> and uh, anyway, he came with us. And I suppose, remember the night before, I, I knew I, need, I needed the song and I knew I needed a chorus to say everything in it in about 10 seconds because I guess we get a lot of amount of time on the news and uh, I'd hoped that the politicians might join us because the chorus of a song is a little bit like an amen and the, very often, if two rival politicians appear in television together, and if they don't fight with each other, they won't be invited back with each other. <laughs> because television needs this conflict. It's like theater. So we try to, try to think of a melody or a chorus that people could join in without losing face. Because it is a little bit like, the leaders are very nervous. It's a little, little bit like two buses meeting in a narrow bridge. Now the driver wanted to give way because he didn't want to let down his passengers. So it is only when the passengers got up and went to the driver and said, look, it's all right. You can go back a little bit. So the passengers arrived up at Stormont Castle and uh, up we went, and we started to sing. Of course, went like this. Carry on. George Mitchell was there and lots of 
wonderful people. And they come out, the politicians, and start to sing with us. It's so good to see people like Jerry Adams and David Trimble and all singing the same chorus. They were a bit nervous at the beginning. When I sang, carry on, I said, you sing, carry on, and they sing, carry on. We're a bit nervous. But the Women's Coalition come out. This is a group, Women's Party. Monica McWilliams, wonderful people. I think they're speaking to Jane, uh, Jane Morris, not too long ago. Jane is one of the leaders in the Women's Coalition. She told me that she, after had decided to form a women's party, she told her husband, great news, we're forming a women's political party. And he said, what would you say to me if I told you that I was forming a man's political party? And she said, well, the 12 representatives from Northern Ireland in Westminster, Westminster were 12 women, I would help you to form a man's political party. So they weren't a bit afraid to sing at all. I sang carry on, carry on. Let the tears 